Okay, hello everyone, uh, Bridget Air here, and I am going to be doing a segment on making decisions. I had a question from another viewer, Shannon from Boston. Shannon is getting ready to go to college and um, going to be making a lot of decisions in her life and wanted to know how how do you go about making decisions how do you go about discerning God's will um, and and making decisions so that's what this this is going to be about it's going to be about making decisions God's way so first of all I think this is a question that I have asked throughout my life you know what does God want me to do um, they could be big decisions like getting married, taking a new job, um, going to college. Um, those are the big ones that I can think of. Um, but then you might have just smaller decisions, you know. So we always have decisions to make and we're always trying to discern God's will. So I hope this will be helpful to everyone, um, but this is specifically for Shannon. Number one, God created you for a purpose. So everyone is unique. There isn't anybody in the world like you. So God has a specific purpose for you to uh, do throughout your life. And um, this is troubling sometimes because you're like, what am I supposed to do, God? Uh, but just number one, know that God created you for a purpose and one thing that we learn about God is God created us to know love and serve him okay we're all created for that but each person has a unique purpose that God created them for so that's number one know that God created you for a purpose okay number two ask yourself what are your gifts and talents everybody has gifts and talents we're not all good at everything I wish I were but um, we all have things that we are just naturally gifted in things that we are that come very easy to us and I guess throughout my life the things that um, I'm gifted in I like to do as well so look at what your talents are look at what what you are individually gifted in and God again he created you for a specific purpose and he gave you specific gifts to enable you to do that which he created you for if that makes sense so number two is what are my gifts and talents Number three, what do you like to do? Um, God usually creates you. He creates you for a purpose. He gives you certain gifts and talents. But he also puts those desires in your heart of the things that you really like to do. I mean, that you have a passion for. So if you're a young person, you know, in school or maybe headed off to college, what are the clubs that you've been in throughout your life um, even if you're an older person what did you do in high school what what things do you do in your free time that you really really enjoy um, what do you like to do God wants you to do things that you um, he made you for a purpose he gifted you with special um, talents and gifts and these are things that, and he put that desire in your heart of things that you really thoroughly enjoy, the things that you have a passion for. So that's number three. Number four is, what is my state in life? And what I mean by that is, if you're a young person who is not married, your state in life is single. And you could be an older person who's not married as well. But um, your state in life is, are you single? are you married are you in the uh, vocation of marriage or are you a priest or a religious and because I'm Catholic uh, and most of my audience is Catholic that's how you 
figure out what your state in life is. Single, or you're in the married vocation, or you're in the single vocation where you're a priest, a religious, um, or a brother, or an, an order, a religious order. Okay, so those are the three states in life. So God is going, you got to look at what your state is in life. If you are, let's say a mom, okay, I'm a mom, um, on top of other things that I do. But what's great about doing the YouTube channel here is that I can do my mom stuff and I can evangelize this way or share stuff um, with you about God this way. I'm not, you know, leaving my family and going on a mission trip in China, okay, for extended periods of time and abandoning my family. You know, God's not going to call me to do something that is outside of kind of like my um, state in life. Now, if I'm single and I felt like God was calling me to, to go do mission work in China, then that might, that's going to be a lot more doable based on my state in life. I'm single. I don't have a family to take care of. I can, I am free to go do that. Um, again, you have to look at where you are in your, in your state in life. If God calls you or you think that God's calling you to something that is really uh, unusual in that it doesn't really fit your state in life, then I would probably pause and do some more praying and reflecting on that. Okay, um, and then what I mentioned about um, something conforming to your state in life that was, that was actually the next one. Does it conform to my state in life? So what is your state in life? And then does it conform to that? So the next one is um, something that uh, Father Mike Schmidt said about discerning God's will and, and um, what your story is going to be. Got me thinking about Sometimes it may or may not matter if you take this specific job or that specific job because God has a way of kind of getting you back on the path that he wants you to be on as long as you're, you know, praying and trying to listen to God and living um, according to his um, word and the teachings of the church. As long as you're doing that, I don't think you're going to get too far off course. But something that Father uh, Mike said about discernment and making decisions is that it doesn't necessarily matter, you know, what job you pick or what college you go to, um, but it's not, uh, let's see, I wrote it down. It's not necessarily what job you pick or what college you go to or maybe even what vocation you choose. It's not what you pick, but it's who you become in the story. Are you, no matter what choices you make, are you growing closer to Christ? Are you growing in your relationship with him? And are you um, being more like him? Are you becoming more Christ-like? So, so sometimes, and I know as a younger person, I was always worried about, oh, what if I make the wrong decision here? What if I make the wrong decision there? God has a way of kind of bringing you back to where you're supposed to be. So I'm just going to go over the top five uh, quickly again. God has a purpose for you. He created you for a purpose. Number two, think about what are your gifts and talents. Number three, what do you like to do? Number four, what is your state in life? And number five, does it conform to your state in life? And um, number six is it's not necessarily what you choose as long as it's obviously within moral, you know, things. You know? But it's not so much what job you pick or what college you go to, but it's who you become in the story. Um, the other thing I want to offer you, as this has been one of my go-to books when I was making a decision, and some of the, the points that I brought up are in this particular book, 
Uh, I've gotten this book so many times, and I've bought it so many times, and I, every time I buy a copy, I end up giving it away to somebody who has a question about making a decision, so that's kind of why I did this video. But the book is called, uh, What Does God Want? A Practical Guide to Making Decisions. It's by Father Michael Scanlon. He was the, um, he's now deceased, but he was the former president of Franciscan University of Steubenville. And I'm sure we got hello Steubenville fans out there. But he, um, this is a really small paperback book. It's great. I mean, you can get it on Amazon for probably under five bucks. Um, but it's really super good. It's got, it's been my go-to book whenever I make a decision. It's really practical. It's really handy. And I highly recommend it. So I'll put uh, the link to that. Up there as well as the link to a video I did with Father Mike uh, Father Michael Schmitz who I, I think offered some really good advice about about discerning God's will so oh, Shannon I hope that was helpful I hope that that helps you as you move forward in your life if you have future questions feel free to um, to email me or, or leave a comment and anyone else, uh, if you have if you have other ideas of how to how you go about discerning God's will, I'd love to hear from you. Um, leave a comment, um, and I'll take a look at that, and maybe I'll I'll do a part two on this. But I hope that was helpful. Take care. Bye.